Boop. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Pepe Fabini, welcoming you to a new episode of Super Mario Odyssey. If you shake the joy code, you can grab some coins, and if you get off right here, you can get a moon. We got it. Oh my goodness, uh, yes. This is feeling good, guys. We are back in action, we're here at Toast Arena, and there's a couple of moons that we can get over here. Destroy the hat on the Goomba! Get the Goomba! And jump on them. Just jump on all of them Goombas. Because we are joined. Okay, before doing that, hello. Give me those. We got 94. Oh my goodness. There you go. <laughs> now we can proceed. So we got some of those, and now we are jumping the bullet bill. If you don't feel like waiting or you feel like the bullet bills are gonna reach you, just don't worry about it all that much. You can just go up here, jump that, no problemo at all. And the reason why you want to bring all these Goombas over here is because, hello lady, there is a nice lady Goomba over here with a moon. Looks like Pauline's hat. So love in the, in the heart of the desert. Gotcha. Okay, now we've gotten that. You can see a cage over there, right? Hello, Bullet Bill. You're going to be my friend today. Come over. Oh, uh, no! Messed up! Ah! I don't want to sink! I don't want to sink! I don't want to die! <laughs> Sounds kind of dumb. Uh, there you go. Now don't hit that. Hit this. And there you go. Got the moon. Bullet Bill Breakthrough. Now we got all those moons. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that we haven't done over here. We already got this moon. Right. Alright, so... Uh... There's supposed to be another eagle close to town that we can go for. Also, uh, I think I'm forgetting... Yeah, okay. I'm not... I'm technically not forgetting anything. It's just uh, we need to warp again. But this time to the Moai habitat... Actually, let's just go back to the shop. From the shop, it will have a clearer view of what to do. I think. <laughs> oh no! It was on the top of the pyramid. Uh, doesn't matter, we can just... Take the scenic route, scenic route, the scenic route. Uh, from over here, just uh, just go up. There's supposed to be another eagle here. Here it comes. I don't think they're the same, so I'm just gonna throw this up. Yeah, that was there, and there's the moon. Ah, crap. Gotta do it from over here, I guess. Ah, no. This is... I, I probably made a, the wrong choice by throwing it off like that. Ah! Aiming. There you go. <laughs> Bird traveling the desert. Got a moon. Uh, and now we can just uh, use the thing. Right? We can, we can just use the thing? Yeah, I think we can. Except no. Except not. You can climb on these. So don't worry about it all that much. If you fail, you haven't really failed. You just fail a little. Alright, uh... Taking this power line is gonna be most effective, I think. Alright, there you go. Shake the Wii... The, the, the Wii mode, The Joy-Con. Shake it, shake it, shake it whenever you can in order to do stuff. Now let's go back all the way to the pyramid. Over here. And there's another of the... <laughs> I messed up. I messed up before, so there's this over here, so we can use this one to move down. And we can go two ways. First one, over here. Grab all of those, and we're at the top. Remember this place? We were here before, except this was frozen. Grab it. And now, there's a nice little thing that will teach you how to roll. Hello, hello, rolling, rolling. I know how to roll, game. There you go! Sand Kingdom uh, Timer Challenge number one, we got that, and we can get Cappy back by just uh, touching the cap, of course. And now before, instead of, rather, instead of going down and uh, doing more stuff like this, going off into the distance and coming back up here. There's gonna be another circle of coins that we can get, do it! Do it! And we're all the way over here. Now, why do we want to come all the way over here? Uh, I forget, actually. I forget. No, I remember now. There's this PC show over here. This is another time challenge. 
This one is harder because you don't have the Moai. However, it's just a straight line. Line it up. There we go. Unlock the moon. And uh, safely make it back. Because I, I didn't know where it ended. I think it ends at the same, po uh, same point where the moon is. But uh, just to be sure, just don't. Just don't do it like that. Anyways, uh, this over here... Well... Let me see, I want to try something. Like that? Ah, no! Yeah, it, auto it automatically goes into a circle. I thought it was going to be uh, like a regular throw, but uh, didn't didn't go like that. So we're back at the town anyways. <laughs> we took a shortcut. Uh, we can go for the Jaxi ride and uh, finish exploring. But before that, let's talk to these people. A taxi, a taxi, you pulled up, finally. Take me to the Mentor Kingdom. Sorry about the hold up, had some car trouble you would not believe. Can't leave for the Metro Kingdom yet, though. I promise I'll get you there, just gotta dice the everything. <laughs> yep. Alright, so we go off, we, we gotta explore the rest of the place. Be careful because you can actually fall down and that means you die. Uh, I do believe we've gotten everything here in the Oasis. And uh, we have gotten pretty much everything we can above ground, so I'm just gonna go around, do one lap, and see if there's anything else that we were missing. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, we're back on this side. So activate uh, Cappy, please. Thank you. Activate the bridge. Now we can go there by foot regularly, and from this side as well. Sorry, did not mean to do that. <laughs> and uh, let's explore the rest of. Oh no! Well, <laughs> whoops. Alright, so next next course of action, because uh, I couldn't find anything else that we were missing right now, so we're only missing a very few uh, regional points, is to come over here, this is where the head was before, so you can jump in, <laughs> once again with the Jaxi, so you can jump in and uh, you will land directly here, but what you have to do, look at this, mummies are going to start coming up, you can't just set them back like this, or you can destroy them by jumping on them. But what you got, what you gotta do is look for this one mummy guy that has a glimmer to him. Uh, excuse me. Destroy him, and uh, you will be rewarded with a moon. Now get it and get the hell out of here. <laughs> There's too many. There's too many, man. Done. Oh my goodness, oh no, my goodness, oh no, you can do this. There's also a slingshot so that you can get back to the um, to the other side of things, and there is also a slingshot out here so that you can enter the pyramid, the inverted pyramid once again. So if you did miss the regional coins over there, do not worry all that much, you can still get them. Now, uh, kind of a shame to admit, I have forgotten where the rest of the regional coins were. And I do want to get them all before finishing off this area and leaving for the next one until we come back and get all of the paramoons uh, for cleaning up later. So what I'm going to do is show off the functionality of Amiibo. There are multiple Amiibo that work with this game. Uh, pretty much every single one works uh, with Uncle Amiibo. But the one that I want to show off is uh, Bowser. Bowser Amiibo, in general, uh, tell you the location of regional coins. So, whenever you want to find the regional coins that you are missing, so just like I am right now, like looking everywhere and you cannot find them just for the for the sake of uh, finding them or whatnot. Thank you, Jaxi. What you gotta do is you just press the right button on your left Joy-Con, and this will pop up, and you just place your Amiibo on top. And then, you will be prompted with this. There's a purple signal over there, which means that I missed the most obvious ones, probably. Oh no, it's actually off in the distant desert. Which means that I was on the right on the right track before, I just fell down before I could find them. Alright, now we're all the way over here. Look at them, look at them. There we go, 97. And you can use the Amiibo multiple times. So, once again, pressing the red button over there, just place your Amiibo. And the purple glimmer should appear somewhere. There you go. All over there. 
Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut until we're over there. Oh, wow. Can't believe I didn't come back here because I usually explore all this much, but there you go. We got all regional coins and we got almost another 30 moons. Uh, there are quite a few more moons that we can get right now. Just, uh, I don't want to take a lot of time from exploring the other kingdoms out. Uh, so as to strike a balance and whatnot. So what I'm going to do right now is just uh, hang back going to the uh, to the regional shop and buying everything there is over there. So let's go back to the town. And then we're going to go off and explore some somewhere else. How about that? How about that? So that is the Amiibo functionality. I will have to rely on it from time to time. Uh, sorry about that, but this game just came out and it's pretty hard to memorize everything in just one playthrough. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, go over here. Hey, hey, give me the cowboy hat. And we, we can start the next place with the cowboy hat. My pronunciation sometimes is just the weirdest. We can start off with a cowboy outfit, I think. And now, pyramid. Yep, and that's gonna go directly to us in the Odyssey. And that's it, we got everything for the regional store. Nothing else that we can purchase from the uh, world store, I guess? Oh yeah, this. We got them, maybe later. When we are in a more suitable place, actually we're going to a more suitable place anyway, but boxer shorts, we got them. Come again, you betcha, I'm a cowboy now. <laughs> Mr. Cowboys in town. And they decided to use all the ice to make freezy treats, as they call them. Uh, but yeah, that's it for Tusterina right now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly did a lot. And now we're coming over here. I will talk about these two later when we come here for cleanup, when we start doing cleanup duty. But for now, 28 power moons. Up to the Odyssey! Look at all those, look at all those! And we got 67. Which is a pretty good number, I would say. And now head off to another kingdom. Indeed, set sail. And remember, we could have gone to the Wooded Kingdom, but I decided Lake Kingdom first. So, we're gonna go set sail to the Lake Kingdom. It's not really gonna be all that of uh, all that much of a long journey in the Lake Kingdom. I mean, sure it will. Not really. <laughs> There's only one main mission to do over there, and then we can unlock the Wooded Kingdom with uh, with Power Moons. But yeah. Anyways. Uh, by the way, you can actually skip this cutscenes now by pressing the plus button, uh, because this is the same cutscene uh, playing every single time, except now Mario is not going to have Cappy on his head whenever we do that, so... He kidnapped Tiara, but now with this binding ban, he's got a wedding ring. Is he going to steal a whole wedding? Seeing as how we've got time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Blah, 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 homing throw, well, there it is. Next, let's, let's read up on the Lake Kingdom. It says they were known for their fashion, and oh, there's a famous wedding gown there called the Luck Lady Dress. And it is nighttime? Seems like it. Just not exactly. It is, but it doesn't really look like it's nighttime at all now, does it? Anyways, this is a lake kingdom. This is Lake Lamonade. La Lamod? Lake Lamod. Sorry. Brutals over the lake is the one mission that we're gonna have to go to. And then we can just roam around freely. Uh, there's not... This This one is one of the smaller kingdoms, so once again, we're gonna have only 50 regional coins to, to gather. Uh, so we gotta make up for the fact that we bought the boxer shorts uh, with uh, some more regular coins. So let's grab that. You can also do some uh, very nice tricks in order to get up to places, but for now, let's just stick to what we know. Swing down here, grab the metal D, and uh, start grabbing the notes. Circle, circle, circle around me, and there we go. Got it. Got the first power moon in the first 20 seconds. Nice, huh? I, I, I think so. I think it's very nice. Taking notes, dive and swim. All right. Up we go. We can capture a sipper. Eh. Crap, didn't do it correctly. It's down this way. That falls down and you can come back up by doing this. That opens up a way over there. It's supposed to hint you at the zipper. Ech. Yeah, I got hit. I got hit in the head. And 
Up inside, more coins! More coins! Anyways, there you go. Up here, there seems to not be anything but the weird boxes that we can't do anything about for now. But there's more regional coins, and uh, yeah. So, exploration pretty much complete in this first area. No kidding. Really, no kidding. Uh, there's a uh, pixel cat Mario over here. What are you doing over there, 3D world? And uh, pretty much it, I guess. Uh, one of these is supposed to have a ton of coins. Nope. Apparently not. Okay. Alrighty. So what do you want to do here? Boom, bam, bam, bow. And you can skip the platforming section altogether. And I do believe we have... Oh, wait, no. There is one more uh, power moon to get over here. Avoid the water as much as possible. It's only, it only slows you down. Mario's already slow in this game. Yeah. By the shoreline. On the sh <laughs> on the lake shore, I got it all wrong except for the word the. <laughs> that that means that you don't know anything about it. Well, as I said, it's pretty hard to memorize stuff on the on just the first playthrough, and I've only played through this once, so yeah. Anyways, get some air, get some air. Look behind you because there are regional coins over here. Just be careful not to get hit. And now we can just rush back, get some air, and continue. No, that's not the button that I wanted to press. L button sensor centers a camera behind you. CL does ground pound, so, uh... Yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do regular L. Now, you can grab this, or you can skip it, because you will get a power moon over here and get air. So, uh, we will need that other piece of air way before we need, uh... Yeah. <laughs> because we're gonna get some air over here, and I'm just... I'm just fumbling for words right now, I'm sorry about that. But you get air right here, so you don't really have to worry all that much. Thing is, you would already be like halfway almost up without air by the time you reach the heart over there, so sadly you cannot capture these guys. But you can get a heart! And air through Cappy for some reason. But yeah, and look at this, you can capture a cheap cheap and spin a la Mario Galaxy. And there's gonna be five of these pieces of things to find. Uh, let me do this. This is only coins. So it doesn't really matter all that much. Now go down. Thank you very much. You place... you uh, press B to surface, you press Y to dive. Pretty simple. Da -da 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 -ba -da -ba. Oh yeah! Dory Backrider! Except not, because Dory is not on the surface. And he doesn't look calm and ready. Yeah, we can breathe inside these bubbled, bubbled up spaces. And there's another power moon right by the entrance, just on the top. Right over there, you can see it. So, yeah, as I said, this is not gonna be, like, it, this is not gonna take super duper long. However, I do believe that uh, I'm gonna run our... I just ran out of time. So, uh, what do you say? Uh, I couldn't capture the, the guy. da 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 ba da pow Yay! Cheap chip crossing! There you go. Gotcha. So yeah, what do you say? We come over here. We open this up. Look at all that. We get the courtyard. And we leave off with the promise of... Uh, actually, I need to kill one of you. <laughs> because if not, you're not going to be able to uh, get the tallest. The tallest that you can get. Now grab you. Ow. Had to jump with better timing. Uh, by the way, that glowing spot, yeah, those are mini Goombas, so don't really bother ground pounding over there. There we go. We grab all these regional coins, now we got, uh, 14. And we end off by going back to Toasterina. Thank you guys so very much for watching this episode of Super Mario Odyssey. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe to the channel if you really like the video. And I will see you guys next time when we go back to the Lake Kingdom after grabbing this little star over here in the Sand Kingdom. Look at this. Southwestern floating island. We got a thing. And I will see you guys later for more Super Mario Odyssey. Goodbye, guys.